The last five words of spelling list one were all related by their Latin roots. So this is an excellent place to see the, and discover the power of morphology. The very first word that I want to look at is the word conflict. Con Conflict. Now, you'll notice conflict begins with con. Con is not a standalone word in English. However, con means with or together in Latin. And flict is actually a Latin word that refers to strike. So a conflict is striking with or together. And you can kind of picture the imagery of what it means to have a conflict where people are striking one another, whether with words or hopefully not physically. And we can compare this to words such as inflict, which means to strike in, or to afflict. The uh, prefix af means uh, to or towards, so to afflict means to strike to someone or towards them. The next word I want to look at is the word contract, and you'll notice in contract we also have con. And the root here then that it's combined with is tract. Now, tract is a great uh, root because it actually means to pull. If you think of a tractor, what does it do? It pulls. Or um, to extract something, you pull it out. And so contract means literally to pull with someone. And isn't that an interesting picture of what it means to write a contract with someone we're going to pull with or together? The next word I want to look at is contest. Now, this one is a little bit more clear because we, we know what a test is. And so a contest is a test with or together with other people. And that makes perfect sense with its meaning. The next word is compact. Now, with compact, we need to first look at the fact that the con changed to com. And in Latin, there is this thing called assimilation where if you try to say compact, compact, you'll notice it's very difficult to say. But if you change that n to a m, compact, because the p is on your lips as well, it's simpler to say. And so Latin prefixes can assimilate to the first letter for ease of pronunciation. But a pact is an agreement. Uh, you can think of it as a pact that was written, or a, it's like a contract that was written together. And so compact is joining together in agreement to write it. So that would be the definition of a, a compact as in the document. And then you can also think about something that's compact as in it's pressed tightly together. They're joined tightly together. Um, kind of in agreement. So sometimes these roots, you'll see they the meanings evolve over time, but you can see how it started with that meaning. The last one I want to look at is complex. Complex. And you'll notice once again the prefix is assimilating uh, to this root. Can you think of other words that use plex, such as multiplex or duplex? So plex means part. And something that is complex is with many parts, which makes sense. So a complex number in math is one that is made of many parts, things that factors that can be multiplied together. A complex problem is one with many steps to it. So as we begin to learn words, learning the phonograms is really, really helpful to understanding how they're spelled. But when we begin to recognize the roots and their meanings, we can often have clues to the meanings of unknown words as well.